So I'm, I'm very honoured that you accepted my um, invitation to do the, the artwork for Fight or Flight. Um, so when I explained it to you before about recording your heartbeat and it being this collaboration, not just musically and artistically, but scientifically and anatomically, I'd say. So using the percussive nature of the heart, which is an organ that we listen to with our stethoscopes and hear that beat. And we're able to use that information in a way that is meaningful to us and we're able to diagnose things. But translating that for me, it was translating it from the science to the music. But when I, when I approached you, I thought if you could add a creative artistic visual element to that concept, how did you come up with that beautiful um, artwork? I don't know if it has it got a name yet or is it just the heart? <laughs> Firstly, I'm honoured that you asked me to do um, a piece of artwork for your music because I was completely blown away by your music and your concept of using a heartbeat. Um, it's just pure genius for me. Um, and so thank you. Um, and thank you for saying such kind words about my art. Um, so the, the, the first thing I did was um, I was fortunate to have a listen, a sneak listen to your um, track. And I listened to it while um, looking through the Grey's Anatomy textbook um, and reading the um, pages about the heart and the anatomy and the structure. And, it, and, I, and I often actually listen to music when I paint anyway. And it was the first time I was listening to something with a, music, with a medical plant to it. Um, and just the beat got me into thinking about the heart, the structure, its function. And, um, and actually that's just how it, I, I can't even explain how it just came out onto the page. Um, but I, I thought about a guitar because you, you play the guitar. Um, and actually the heart has a, a shape that's quite similar to a guitar. Um, and I try to incorporate that into the design and the four chambers and the arteries the arteries and the veins to look like the strings of the guitar. Wow, that's really cool. Yeah, um, and I think the fact that you've been able to paint it on the canvas of a Grey's Anatomy textbook, I think that just completely creates the concept visually because it is just a mash of science and art and creativity as that medium to um, you know create emotion in another person just demonstrate this is possible um because throughout my medical career I, I have had i've had some encouraging um conversations with people but a lot of it when i'm talking about what i'm trying to do creatively it's on glazed looks they just look beyond it and they're like okay tell me about this patient that you're looking after or just tell me about the blood results or consultant or just go back to business um so it's really good to kind of share that excitement with, with, a, with somebody else who also has that similar vision. Um, in terms of what, what's next for you as an artist, what, what do you see as a, the next steps in terms of collaborating art and science moving forward? Oh, that's a hard question. I mean, I've had the same experiences as you um, often with, um, with, doctors when I've been talking to them about art and it's interesting because quite a lot of doctors are artistic it's just that often they um, are more can I say traditional in their in their interpretation of the arts um, but what I think would be really useful is to collaborate with yourself or with other um, people to help with spreading awareness of, of health um, and illness so, um, for example, recently I collaborated with a um, friend who has type 1 diabetes and we, he's, a, he's a rapper and a poet and um, he wrote, uh, I was painting um, an image of, of the brain um, and I wasn't quite sure how I was going to do the inside of the brain and then I was flicking through it, his Instagram page and I saw his poems about mental health so I approached him and said would you like to write a poem about my painting 
was sort of inspired by my painting, but talking about mental health that I could then paint onto the onto the painting. Um, and he he was up for it, and we he wrote a poem, a beautiful poem um, about mental health, and using inspired by the colours of the painting. Um, and then I painted it and created this image um, that's trying to help um, uh, bring people, make people aware of mental health. So I'm hoping that in the future we can use any or any form of art or the combination of the arts to spread awareness about health and illness. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I think it's I think it's incredible, and I'm completely on that same kind of path. Um, and it'd be really great if anyone's listening to this or seeing this who wants to join in this quest and maybe uh, add a video element to our um, heartbeat collaboration <laughs> it'd be really cool absolutely but, absolutely yeah i think um it will be exciting to see what you do next and um how you can visually express your your ideas using the, the human anatomy and your artistic you know abilities as well i think that's that's going to be very exciting to see um, you. you too as well <laughs> i'm really excited to see what you come out with and yeah so collaborate on more more projects yeah yeah definitely um so for me i've got a few tracks um coming out over the next few months one of them is about breathing so maybe we could do, do a collaboration on that one um a couple of them are about mental health so i need to just see what visually i can translate that but let's let's see what we can do um but that's great yeah so thank you again sarah for uh, doing the the beautiful artwork for fight or flight which is now available to be heard on Spotify and other streaming uh, platforms. So check it out and share it if you uh, enjoy it. And also, if you'd like to collaborate with us, then get in touch. Absolutely. Um, and if, if there are any dancers out there, to get, <laughs> get a couple of people together <laughs> and collaborate. Dance. Yeah, maybe they can dress up like a heart and dance to the beat, like, like Ritik Roshan. <laughs> or just in red. Oh yeah, just dressed in red. Yeah, that's that that's that's an interesting idea. But yeah, that's cool.